What's going on, everybody? This is Copy801, and here we have the DC FOC for the comic books week ending January 28th, 2023. Here you go. We've got the FOC for January 29th, not 28th, 29th. And uh, we're going to start it off with one of my personal favorites Batman Superman World's Finest. We have cover A by Dan Mora, and he's doing the interior art, and it's damn good. We have a Dave Johnson cardstock cover. We have a 1 in 25 and a 1 in 50. Very cool retro Teen Titans cover. I'm enjoying that. Next up, we got Black Adam, number 8 of 12. And uh, I like that. I like the Yvonne, the uh, Irvin Rodriguez A cover. That one is... Very silver golden age like that's a pretty damn awesome cover. You know, the cover B by Diego da Silva is really good too. Sorry, folks, I just gotta I gotta adjust myself because my leg is falling asleep. And we've got cover C. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, next up we got a one in twenty-five. Which is uh, very... I don't know what to make of that. Uh, Catwoman number 52. This is the second run of the David Nakayama cover A's. And I'm really liking that. I'm really liking the A cover. I gotta say, I'm thinking the A is going to be the one to get. The Sweeney Boo looks okay, but the proportions just seem off. Next, we've got Deceased, War of the Undead Gods, number six. And uh, we have a really awesome homage cover for the cover B, but I'm picking up the one in the 50s. I'm getting the entire set. The entire set. I am getting that. And uh, I cannot wait to show you all of... Uh, the one in 50s in a row. It's going to be amazing because this is uh, for the one in 50 in the deceased universe. Um, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, ended up getting the power of Shazam at one point. And I got to say, she looks awesome. And we've got the 1 in 25 Francesca Mattina with a dead looking Catwoman. Uh, next up we have a Duo from Earth M. This is a hard cover. And Fables number 158 of 162. Okay, it's looking like we're uh, it's looking like the series is going to end soon. Very interesting very very interesting moving on we have flash number 793 and it's looking like my cat wants to go down so gotta do a few things there uh i'm gonna say the cover a might be the one to get here cover b by marco delfonso looks good but a cover a is something uh, we have Future State Gotham, Volume 3, Trade Paperback. For anyone still on that series. GCPD, The Blue Wall, number 5 of 6. 
cover A, cover B, and uh, we've got Harley Quinn, the animated series, uh, Legion of Bats, number five of six. And this is how you can tell none of this is scripted, because now, guess who wants to play? You're going to hear the cat in a few minutes. Uh, Batman, the, uh, Harley Quinn in the animated series Legion of Bats number five. And I got to say, the B cover, kind of like in the B cover. The B cover looks fun. Uh, we got a 1 in 25 Chad Harden cardstock variant. And uh, let's see what else we got going on. Okay, Human Target. Number 12 of 12. This is the last book in that series. And we have a gorgeous looking ice cover from David Nakayama. He's doing his really cool negative space variants. And a 1 in 25 by Jorge Molina. And next up we have Lazarus Planet Omega. Number one. And this is going to be a uh, one shot. As most of these Lazarus Planet books are. And the cover A. Looks like we got pretty much everybody on here. Yeah. Pretty much everybody's on this cover. Looking, uh, looking pretty good. I will not read the solicit because I don't know how many of you are reading Lazarus Planet. So, uh, check out my reviews whenever I put them up. I'm going to be doing a review on Lazarus Planet each week. Got a cover B. Lee Garbett cardstock cover. A cover C, Ben Oliver, really sick Dr. Fate cover. An Ariel Colon D cover. An E by Felipe Masafara. And a cover F, Jen Bartel. And I really liked her first Dreamer cover. This one, I don't know. It's good, it's good but it looks like Frank Cho. Giving me Frank Cho vibes. All right. And we have the Black History Month variant with Cyborg. And then we have a foil variant from Diego Da Silva. And oh my goodness. Now we're finally up to the, uh, oh, 250 copy minimum order. So if you order 250 copies of this book, you get the ability to order that foil cover so this is going to be a a little bit of a rare cover for all you uh for all you cover heads out there let's take a look at it oh wow okay so this one is uh is a nice looking cover but you got to order 250 copies in order to get it. So this will be a rare cover again. And it's a wraparound. I got to see if my shop's ordering this. I don't think they're going to order 250 copies. But we'll see. And uh, uh, 1 in 50. Helene Lenoble cardstock variant. And a 1 in 100. Which is going to be the foil version of the... A cover and a cover M a Ricardo Federici cardstock variant I don't know why the cover M is after a hundred very uh, very odd I'll have to do a little bit of more research on that and we have Nightwing 101 hold on cover B I guess we don't have the cover A yet which is again very odd the cover B looks nice though I will say that but yeah we have the B the C and the D cover I don't know where cover A is definitely worth investigating all right next up Shazam Fury of the Gods special Shazam Ali matters Number one, and this is the cover D photo variant. We have the cover C, 
and the cover B. Again, no cover A. Very odd. Uh, cover E is a 1 in 25. Stephen Byrne. Eh, that looks pretty cool. I like that. And we have Stargo, the Lost Children, number 4 of 6. And it's just the cover A. You know, usually there's at least another cover to this. There's like a cover A and cover B. I don't know, folks. We, we seem to be missing some covers on here. But I am a sucker for covers like this that have a Golden Age look to it. So I will be picking this one up. And in case you folks are not aware, this series is chocked full of first appearances. Full of first appearances. If you're a JSA fan, this will definitely be a good story for you. Very good story. I think when this is all over, I'm going to do a review. Uh, next up, we have Superman, number one, from Jamal Campbell. And uh, looking like we got ourselves. Yeah, there we go. Cool looking cover, but as you can see, it's a wraparound. Either it's a, well, no, I can't say that. It looks like a wraparound. It could be like one cover and then another cover, like two cover A's. But I'm going to say now it's a wraparound. Very nice looking wraparound, especially for a cover A. That is very rare to have a nice cover A wraparound. Uh, we have a cover B, Andy Kubert. We have a cover C, Ariel Colon. Cover D by Abraham Mustafa. Cover E by Ricardo Federici. Cover F by Gabriel Rodriguez. And we have a cover G by Ed Beans and Wayne Foucher. Ed Beans does not do a lot of covers. He got famous for doing work on Birds of Prey Volume 1. But I will say this. Cool looking cover. Very retro. I really like it. That might be my pick. Cover H by Alexander Lozano. Uh, Francesca Mattina. Cover. Yeah, that's a good cover right there. That is a sick looking live wire cover. Alright, maybe... Uh, <laughs> This will have to tie for that, for uh, cover G. Really liking that. Uh, Jorge Jimenez, cardstock variant. Sebastian Fumara, Phantom Zone foil variant. And then we have a cover, <laughs> uh, 1 in 25 out of, out of Andy Kubert black and white variant. A 1 in 50 Tom Derenic and a 1 in 75 Simone DeMio. I would totally get this if this was not a 1 in 75. It's going to be expensive because that is a very nice cover. And Simone DeMio does some great art. And we have the 1 in 100 Jamal Campbell. And this is a foil version of the cover A. Which I think this is deserved. Usually I give DC a little bit of crap because they do a foil version as their 1 in 100 or their high ratio, but this one I think is deserving. And then we have a uh, <laughs> 1 in 200 Francesco Mattina foil version of his cover. That's going to probably be the most expensive, you know, maybe the most desirable cover. Uh, Superman Son of Kal-El, Volume 1. Very nice how they use the homage to Superman 1 as the cover to this. And Titans United Blood Pact, number 6 of 6. We got an Eddie Barrows cover A, a Derek Chu cover B. And we have a Lyrics Lee cardstock variant for... Cover C. Sorry, I had to look at the cat for a second. <laughs> uh, we have Top 10 Compendium from DC. 
Not sure what that is. Ah, okay. This is stuff that DC took over. Fair enough. All right, we have Unstoppable Doom Patrol. Number one. And we only have Cover C. Scratch off cardstock variant. Uh, we have the Wiz Comics number two facsimile edition. And we've got cover A from Yannick Paquette for Wonder Woman 796. And uh, the Derek Chu cardstock cover for 796 Wonder Woman as well. Cover C, Daniel Bayless, and a Joe Parado, 1 in 25. And that's going to be it for the FOC of DC Comics for January 29th, 2023. Had a couple fun things happen with the cat on this show, but, uh, you know, you got to gotta do what you got to do. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Did you see anything you liked as the cat literally jumps four feet in the air? Awesome. Uh, this is a good indication that it's time for me to <laughs> end this video. Uh, you know, do all that regular YouTube stuff like subscribe. Give me a comment. Are you picking any of these books up? If so, which ones? And uh, that's about it. That's all I got, folks. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bonus. Here's the cat. Here's the cat. See what I gotta deal with?